Yo, what's going on guys? It's your buddy Double D and welcome back to Tom Clancy's The Division. Today we're going to be talking about patch 1.3 and the things that I'm going to be doing getting ready for this patch and the things that I think you should be doing. And as always, I'm going to give you the information straight up front and if you care to stick around and hear why, then you can hang out and if not, you've got the information right off the bat. So going forward, for patch 1.3, I'm going to be looking for a really, really well rolled set of Lone Star gear. I'm going to be looking for a really nice high-end light machine gun. I'm going to be looking for as many firearms and stamina mods as I can possibly find that have critical hit chance. And I'm going to be looking for a really good roll on some crafted gloves with Savage on them. And I know my last video was talking about how Savage is not all that, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. So first I want to talk about patch 1.3 and the weapon balance changes that are going to happen because this actually has a lot to do with why you're going to need those mods, why you're going to need the Savage Gloves, and why you're going to want to look for a Lone Star set. Um, first, right off the bat, submachine guns are getting hit with a nerf. They are no, excuse me, they are no longer going to have critical hit chance built into them. So if you look at my submachine gun right now, I've got 23% critical hit chance up there. That's going to be replaced with critical hit damage. So if we go to my character, and you see I'm sitting right below the cap at 58.5%, minus 23%, so since you know I'm not going to have that on the submachine gun anymore, that puts me I think, right about 35%. And uh, I think with the gloves and some mods, I should be able to push unbuffed around 43, 45% critical hit chance, but that's still a far cry from the critical hit cap. So reaching the critical hit cap is going to be a lot more difficult going forward. Um, since they're nerfing submachine guns. And I do think it's a good thing. I do think submachine guns definitely needed to be nerfed. Uh, we'll just have to see if that on top of the stealth nerf to pulse is going to be too much. Uh, moving forward, Assault Rifles are getting an Armor Shred, which is cool for PvE, but it doesn't mean anything for PvP because we know that uh, Destructive and things like that don't apply to player armor. So that's unfortunate. Uh, it looks like the Predator set and uh, Assault Rifles in general will just have to sit on the back burner for anybody that likes to PvP. Um, Shotguns will be getting a chance to stagger enemies. Now, Skill Up was talking about his time hands-on with the shotguns, and he said that it wasn't that bad, that he wasn't able to actively stun lock any enemies with a shotgun, even with the really high rate of fire ones like the SAGS. Um, so it sounds like there's probably an internal cooldown on how often you can be stunned, which is uh, hopefully correct. Um, that way it'll keep you from getting stun locked. But like I said, uh, skill up confirmed that it is not possible to stun lock enemies because that could be really irritating. Uh, moving along, marksman rifles I believe remain untouched for the most part, and light machine guns are getting a huge buff in the way of bonus damage versus targets outside of cover. So that's going to be pretty freaking cool, and I think that's going to really push LMGs to the front of the line. And pushing LMGs to the front of the line is also going to subsequently push Lone Star to the front of the line because if you look you're gonna get a thousand LMG damage bonus or bonus damage however you want to say it and then the set bonus when the weapon is holstered it regains full ammo so even though SMGs are getting nerfed I definitely still think they're going to be viable um, so swapping back and forth between SMGs and LMGs is gonna be uh, really big and when you're swapping and you don't have to reload that's just again that's just a huge uptime on DPS uh, and it's going to raise your sustained DPS through the roof so I'm looking forward to seeing the Lone Star gear set get some love and do really well in patch 1.3 now the idea that I have pretty much for the build and everything going forward is that I'm going to be running SMG and LMG and when my target is in cover and my pulse is up I'm going to pop pulse to get the critical hit chance boost and do as much damage as I can forcing them to go outside of cover and when they do that just swap to the LMG get the bonus damage from the LMG on a target outside of cover and I'm going to use my LMG while my pulse is on cooldown so I'm probably going to actively only use an SMG with pulse but again this is all speculation and we have to wait for the patch to see what's going to happen. Um, there are some new sets being added. There are two new sets. If you've seen the gameplay, you saw gameplay for three, but it has been confirmed that the frontline gear set is not going to be added in patch 1.3. Um, there is one gear set that is built around incendiary rounds, which just sounds god-awful in my mind. Um, 
but I don't think it's going to be too terribly strong. It is going to let you increase the amount of incendiary rounds you can carry up to six, I think is the two piece bonus. And then the big one is the four piece bonus is going to basically, if you kill a target that's on fire, you're going to gain a buff, which is the equivalent of incendiary rounds uh, for 10 seconds. So that's pretty huge. And I actually think that's going to be pretty useful in PVP or excuse me, PVE, but with immunizers and first aid stations, I don't think it's going to be too broken for PVP. Um, the next set is a really cool set called the Blind System, uh, which basically the two piece is a little broken in my mind. It gives you like a hundred percent critical hit damage bonus to your pulse, uh, which for a two piece I think is way too strong. Um, but we'll see if that changes or if that gets left where it is. Uh, to be honest, I'd be really surprised if they leave it as is and release it that way. But you never know, this is massive in Ubisoft that we're talking about. Uh, the four piece is awesome. Basically, it allows you to kill a target, and when you kill that target, that target has a chance to basically become a, a living flashbang, and it's gonna blind enemy, enemies, any enemies in the vicinity. And uh, if you watch the gameplay of, I believe it's Eric's plane, he's got an assault rifle that has a talent that does 100% bonus damage to blind enemies. So using that in conjunction with that blind set is going to make you do a ton of extra DPS. I don't know how viable it's going to be necessarily in PvP, but I will definitely be testing that out and letting you guys know. I'm really excited overall for patch 1.3 simply because 1.2 kind of felt like a limb patch without uh, any of the weapon balancing going forward. A lot of the gear sets like Lone Stars and uh, Predator set just didn't really shine the way that they could have in my opinion since SMGs are still king. We also saw the rise of the Tanktician uh, build, which you guys know my buddy uh, Some X Station likes to run. And if you guys want to see awesome uh, build tutorial for that, you go check his channel out. Tell him Double D sent you. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Nice, quick, short video. I'm sorry I haven't had any uploaded gameplay recently. Um, summer is my busiest time of the year, and I work from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. at night. And you add on top of that, I have a seven month old at home, and I got to spend time with my wife and stuff like that. It just makes it difficult to play video games but my uh, my double shifts are coming to an end over the next few weeks just in time for patch 1.3 on the PC and I am leveling a character over there so I'm gonna have access as soon as that goes live for you guys and bringing you the latest up-to-date information so make sure you guys subscribe thumbs up the video if you found it helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next one double D out peace